to welcome you to another edition of Rick Davis's Talking Gold. We're going to talk a little bit about silver, gold, diamonds, and coins. Hopefully you'll enjoy it and pick up a few facts along the way that will be helpful in your buying, selling, or trading of any kind of gold items. Now you can watch Rick Davis Talking Gold anytime on Rick's YouTube channel. Just type in www.youtube.com backslash user backslash Rick Davis buys gold. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. staff over there. He's got a lot of people. God, our staff is absolutely wonderful. They really are. The Golden Girls, which is uh, Kathy and Deborah and uh, Norma. Norma's 85 years old, works six days a week. Absolutely amazes me. She never, I've never heard her complain in 11 years. She's been She's a beautiful me. person. Kathy, Deborah, same way. Kathy come three or four years ago as a part-time Christmas help for two weeks. And she told me the other day, I think she'd been there five and a half years. Uh, Deborah, the same thing. A year after Kathy comes, she's been there about four years. She's my right arm. She's just like Jason. She, she takes care of business. Yeah. We've got Deward, that's uh, our jeweler uh, in the back. He's been with me six years. Jason and I have been together five years now. This man is straight as an arrow. He does his job. He knows what to do. He knows how to do it. I've got a couple of part-time guys that's in there, and they're just they're just champs. They're doing good right now. We've got uh, Chattanooga Police Department is there. Uh, every hour we're open, we've got two officers that work uh, uh, inside the store, outside in the parking lot. Uh, uh, Tinsel Tillery and uh, Corey Stokes, uh, Corey Green Mile Stokes. Uh, wonderful officers. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm just very blessed with some wonderful people around me. We'd like to remind you to stop by the store at 5301 Brainerd Road. Come in and chat with us. We're always there to answer your questions. And remember, Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. I'm good for an old guy. We ain't gonna break no records here, but uh, you have got $75 there. Can I sell it? That was the number you needed to hear, wasn't it? Seventy. Fine. Thank you very much. Sign out with Norm over there for me. How you doing, brother? What's going on? Everything good with you? Yes, sir. Working hard every day. Yeah. I don't think it's the hard that gets me. It's the hours that wipe me out. How are you today, sir? Pretty good. Good. Where are you from? Ray County. Monkey Town, that's where my family's from. Is it? Blythe's Ferry, Five Points. Yeah, I'm not really old Corvin Holler up there. That's my family up there. Is it? Corvins, yeah. Dean and Ina was aunts and uncles and all that kind of stuff. That's not anything. No diamond, no gold, no There's silver. Nothing. No. That little band right there is silver. Two dollars and forty cents. That ain't gonna set the bank on fire, is it? 
This is gonna help. This is gonna help you out good though. Seventy-four dollars. And last but not least, ten carat is twenty dollars. Ninety-six dollars. Let's just call it a hundred dollars to be fun for Monkey Town. Is that what you want? Be careful going back home, brother. Them roads are slick out there. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Sign out with Norm over here for me. Yeah. Well, I mean, I ain't quit smoking, but I quit. <laughs> they don't let me smoke in here. It makes me work faster, they say. Yeah. I spend my entire day trying to get to my next cigarette break. <laughs> 23. How you doing? Good. Okay. <laughs> it's easier than me talking to a green screen. $210. Run it. You'll accept cash, won't you? Oh, yeah. We did accept cash. In God we trust. Oh, I did pay cash. That's it. $210. Sign out Miss Norma over there for me and you're ready to go. Have a great day, guys. Be careful in this rain. How are you doing today? I'm okay. You doing good, sir? I'm fair to partly cloudy. Yes, sir. Well, I have two Indian pennies. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to keep them. I was just curious, though. Okay. I love things. I'm weird, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Hey, yeah, I've got a bunch. I'm about 18 times. Yeah, good Indian hands. Probably 60 cents a piece, 60 to 70 cents. You got seventy dollars here. Okay, and that's the little gold ring. Too. Yep. Okay. Little, little ring there. Okay. That way you keep your two pennies and you don't, yeah. you know, you don't give up something that you like. Sixty. Ten makes seventy. If you'll sign out with Miss Norma right over there. You're ready to go. She'll get them right over there. Yes, sir. You have to sign out with your driver's license. How are you? Fine. Those earrings right there, he wasn't sure if those was gold or not. They were purchased as gold, but he said for you to check it. I think they just do that a lot of times to make me pay attention. Really? Yeah. Yep, there you go. They are kind of thought they were. <laughs> they are, they are. Oh, that was the terrible part about I those chains. There's a guy here, his wife won $2 million on a lottery ticket last month. Oh, you got to be kidding. They got home with a million after they kept the taxes. What was it selling or buying? <laughs> he was just doing some work for me, but he was sitting uh -huh. here at the desk and telling me the story. Uh -huh. I had heard it and I just asked him about it. And he said, yeah, yeah she won $2 million $2 over million. here in East Ridge. And came home with a million. I went to Nashville and cashed it out and come home with, a, well, it was a million and $87. Okay. So you might as well Wish say. I could be that lucky. No kidding. You wouldn't be here neither, would you? <laughs> I know, ma'am. If, uh, if I had a million dollars free money, God, money, I think I could enjoy my my next 10 years of my life, and then I'd start worrying about what I was going to do. Yeah. You got $700 there, sweetie. Okay, that'd be great. Um, That's kind of like winning the lottery. I, I, for me, it is. I wish... Uh, uh, I, this is probably about it unless I see, find some more. But I had sold quite a bit like three or four years ago. Yeah. 
but I didn't get the price then. Did you sell it to us, or where did you sell it? No, it was, uh, but no, it's probably maybe been four or five years ago. When they just first well, this has been popular, This has been going you know on, I mean? this has been going on now, four years and two months. Well, it would have been before that, yeah. though, really. So you know but, where to go now. Okay, well, thank you, My Kevin. pleasure, yes, ma'am, thank you very much. Sign out with Norm over there for me. Okay. All right. You just need the stone? No, Oh, you want the whole ring? Yeah. Do it for 200 out the door. I told him I'd do that. And that, was, that was firm, but they've lost one in trying to recover it. And... What do you say, Ronnie? It's a new month, or you can do Fridays for the hour. Let's just do a new month. I've already, I've already started it. See if I can do two things at once here. You know, we have you on film. We're calling you the Riley, the strong arm landlord, and we have you on film. You're on one of the commercials. <laughs> it's cute. I'll show it to you. It's done. They're all done. Cleaned up and in there. Okay. That'll work. Are they send me the bill or you like He's already paid. Right, done, to paid, and out there. We need to talk about that. We need to talk about okay. We'll work it out, bro. Uh, I'm still we haven't had any problem in 25 years, so I imagine that'll be all right. But I'm, I'm still in the good shape with it. Okay. Not a problem. 20 bucks. Yeah. Come on with it. <laughs> Yep. Sign out with Norm over there for me. You know the program. Number 26. This is that horse head I was telling you about. I don't know if you want to set it on the back. Everyone heard it. Just set it down easy. Was it granite? <coughs> it's marble. Onyx. Marble. Black onyx. a lot is hand carved in Mexico but that's not what you want to see on a piece like that uh, did you glue it back on did you glue it it's been that way for 20 years so what do you want for it what makes you happy how much oh lord no uh, try it on uh, try it on eBay or Craigslist, hundred dollar bill. I just don't know. You know, you, if you get lucky, I think you'll get two hundred dollars out of it, really? and that's what I'm basing my hundred dollar off from. If I get close to a thousand for it, twenty yeah, years ago. But you bought you bought it retail. You bought it, had a pocket full of money, seen it, liked it. You know, it's one of those kind of things that Mexico, the detail's not there. You know, without the sticker being on it. You can see that it's not cut deep in the, the fine and fine definitions like some of the real high dollar pieces, but it's still, it's, it is what it is. It's, it's solid granite, it's solid marble. Um, and I, you know, I feel like retail would be $500 now on it. But, you know, try it on there and see if you get any luck. And, you know, I mean, there, there's a buyer somewhere that's uh, somebody that plays a lot of um, uh, chess would would probably fall in love with it a den you know i just don't have a market for that see if we can help you out since you loved your statue in here and i like that you know i wasn't trying to cut you down with it it just if it's not something that we deal in every day you, it's hard to find a market for it you remember that design shop that used to be there on the corner by tiki hut down there uh, bill mccauley's place Member of it, yeah. Anyway, that's where I bought it. Is that right? Yeah. And I give about $900 for it, man. 
Well, like, a, like I said, you had a pocket full of money that day and you liked it and, you know, it don't matter what something's worth, it's what you give, what you think about it. Now, if that had been a line in the same material, I'd probably offered you $200 because I love lines. I mean, you know, so it's just that, it's that kind of a deal. And don't, don't let me run on your parade. I mean, ask 500 and see what it does on there. But if you get absolutely no response for it, don't be, you know, don't be disappointed. It's just the right person hadn't looked at it yet. What was it about? What did you like about it when you bought it? There you go. So you love horses and this is something you put in your home. You know. You got $125 there, bro. Is that what you want? And that's, that's repaying you a little bit for bringing that in, because I did want to see it, but $125. Sign out with Miss Norma right over there, and you're ready to go. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, okay. That won't hurt. I've seen her before. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking about that, that basket. That'd go good in a glass Pretty, pretty basket. Have you ever had glass work done? Yeah. That's my boy. He'll do you Try right. Stay. Well, I just got the whole front of the store replaced this morning. This morning. He is, he's very honest. He's kind of, he does business kind of like you did. Yeah. He does keep it right. And well, this was, this was a guy that I've known for years, and he come over and done it, and, you know, I thought he gave me a pretty good price. Well, if you ever need something else? I like, will. Even like just this, you know, to cover your desk. Just give him a try and see what you think. I've been trying to get this boy. cut in that concave to where it'll fit on, won't wear that outer edge out. That they quoted me $195 for a plain piece okay. of glass, and I said, God. Get him out here. I Tell will. him what they charged, what they quoted you. And he'll I guarantee beat it. you he'll yeah. undercut it. He don't undercut everybody, but he does you right. He'll do what it takes to get the business. He's done all my jewelry for years and years and years. Judy was out here yesterday. You just barely missed her. Judy was out here. Mm -hmm. She lives directly across the street from us. How do you like her lines that she's got out there? <laughs> They're pretty big. She's, she's proud of them. They're pretty big. <laughs> she's a good neighbor, though. You know, I like any, all my neighbors that try to keep their property up and don't let old stuff grow up and everything. It's, you know. I got one that throws stuff out on the street and we wind up hauling it off just to keep yeah, it from being on the street. She likes there because he's a police officer and she thinks the police car kind of deters. And it does. Deters, uh, you know. I've got a police training center at the bottom of my hill and like 50 man? police cars there. Is that right? With uh, Hamilton County? Mm -hmm. No, with the city. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I live up on the ridge. Huh? And uh, that's, what we, that's what we play to every day. You want that little opal back to save for something else? Do I need it? It ain't gonna get, it ain't gonna get no money. Yeah, then I'll take it back. I took back some jade my daddy brought me from, he went somewhere far and they said it wouldn't be worth nothing, so I kept the jade. But this is real jade, isn't it? got the little necklace that goes with it. Yeah, it's lime jade. And lime just has to do with the color of the, the color jade, of not not anything to do see, with the quality. Jade was bright. No, no, jade like comes in blue, but. Jade comes in about 12 different colors. There's one that's all lavender, mm -hmm. uh, yellow. Is you know, we see it in green, we see it in gray. Well, they said that I wouldn't get but like two, three dollars for this. Yeah, so yeah don't sell that. Since Daddy gave it to me, I better keep Very nice piece, and you know. Sentimental. Uh, well, it's a good, if you don't sell it, if you want to re-gift it or something at Christmas time, that's the same as giving somebody a $50 gift if you had to go out and buy it. So. Since he gave it to me, I'll probably just keep it. I understand. We're going to take a short break, but 
we'd like to invite you to stop by the store at 5301 Brighton Road, where we have an incredibly friendly staff, a very educated staff, and we're there to serve you and answer your questions. So please stop by and get to know us a little bit better because we are your friend in the jewelry business. This is a segment that was pre-recorded from our show on Night Talk. We have inserts and people call in and ask questions and we try to answer them on the spot. So if you'll view the show tonight, it'll answer some of your questions. If not, feel free to check us out at 5301 Brainerd Road. We're Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds and we're your friend in the jewelry business for over 35 years. Thank you and God bless. All right, caller, are you there caller? Um, hey Judy and Rick. Um, I've got a piece of, uh, i got a fork, silver fork. It doesn't have stainless on it, but it's got a number of 224 on the back of it. Yes, ma'am. And it's, it's a Amcisco W. Does that mean anything? Frisco W? Uh-huh. No, it says Amcisco, A-M-S-I-C-O. Uh, that's probably just a maker. That's probably a, it's probably a stainless. The 224 would not have anything to do with the composition of metal. Oh. That is probably a style number, probably 224 style number for that particular pattern. Okay. And uh, anything that's made in China or Korea says stainless, that is not if it, value, if, right? it, if it says stainless, that's exactly what it is, stainless. And it has no value, not what we're looking for. Okay, that's what I needed to know. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for calling. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye-bye. I have this little silver, uh, silver in color. Mm hmm And I'm trying to figure out if it really is. I meant to bring it over there and let you look at it. It is a, you know, back in the old days, they had these little, it's, on, it's footed, and you open it up, and you put your jewelry in it. But it's very mm -hmm. small. I'm talking about... Yeah, just a little box, about like that. It's, it's oval, mm -hmm. and it's footed. Yeah. And it has has velvet. Uh, mm -hmm. Velvet like... No, it has satin, lined in satin. Uh, little trinket boxes, they call so it. You put your rings sort of and your like charms. Box, and, yeah. yeah, but it's very small. It would just hold, like, one special piece of jewelry. Yeah. Um, was my grandmother's. Some of them are made in, in solid sterling, and some of them are made in, in uh, silver plate, and some of them are made in, um, I've never seen one in 999, pure silver. But sterling is strong enough and when it comes to that. It looked like, on the best I could see on the back of it, it said like ESW. Uh, that's what, that would be a, a brand name, but I, it, it has a number on it, but I couldn't, couldn't ever make Bring it Bring it in, we'll look at it and tell yeah, you. It, it's, it's, um, uh, I've had Tiffany baby rattlers made out of sterling silver solid sterling two hundred dollar baby rattler yeah. little baby rattler i've had uh, over the years i've had 14 karat gold diaper pins big old nice diaper pins solid 14 karat gold but back made back when diaper pins was five dollars for a gold one you know today they cost you three hundred dollars for a gold diaper pen that's amazing yeah. isn't it yeah, the older pieces are that way. And you remember I told you Gold I Gold was cheap. It was $35 an ounce back then. So they just picked it up and made anything they wanted to out of it. And it was, you know, relatively cheap, you know. I meant to bring you that uh, moonstone I had that has the diamonds around yeah. it that I bought for a quarter of a box someplace. Yeah, yeah. Caller, go ahead. Rick, I have a simulated stone in the vivid yellow. It's a copy of the hooker diamond that's at the Smithsonian. Yes, ma'am. It's a, a real deep yellow. It's pretty. I don't wear it. It's just a costume. So but it's costume, not diamond. It's, I think it is a 14 karat gold mounting. There, a lot of those was made. We'd, we'd done one for the Titanic. And we done an exact replica of the piece of jewelry that was on the Titanic. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, of course, we didn't put a, a big amethyst in it, but we, we done a replica of it, and it was the same color, synthetic stones, uh, made all in 14 karat white gold, put a nice chain with it. 
And I think our cost on it was somewhere around $700, and we retailed it for like $8.99. But the original piece, if somebody had that, I think it was $165,000. I remember that figure from somewhere. This has a vivid yellow. Yes, ma'am. Stone. And on the side, it has um, a, a little diamond on each side. If I come over, I'm going to bring it and let you see it because... It's a copy, and I'm sure you have seen the hooker diamond. Yes, ma'am. Um, I bought it through QVC, and they they had a show, and they had the Hope diamond they showed on there. And of course, they couldn't show, and they couldn't touch it. It was under glass, and they had a lot of the uh, diamonds and everything that had been on the Titanic. So well, what the, what a lot of that. It's an interesting show, and they have a new one coming up for long, and I like to watch it. Well, it gives you some good detail. It gives you, uh, it lets you know a little bit about where it came from and what it was about, and, and you know, it just the mystique of, of knowing that you've got an exact duplication of something that's worth, that's priceless, you know, in millions of dollars, and knowing that you have the exact duplication of it uh, in gold, you know, that's that's somewhat rewarding. Well, the yellow one that you show in your advertisement, I could kill you for it. <laughs> Which one? The yellow with the diamond on it. Mm. Is that it? I, th I think that's also a copy. I think that's one that we acquired from uh, one of the shows in Atlanta. And I'd also like to have a champagne diamond. I've got several of those in stock now. I'd like to thank you for watching the show. Hope it's been informative. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some knowledge along the way. Hope a little bit of fun rubbed off on you. We try to do what we can do to help you. We'd like to thank you again for watching the show. Please stop by in the store and see us. Get to know us. We're your friend in the jewelry business. Thank you and God bless.